What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video we're going to be tackling the Funko Rival Challenge. That is right guys, we are continuing with the Funko Challenge series right here on the channel. So if it's your first video and your first time joining us, make sure you hit that subscribe button guys. If you enjoy Funko challenges, if you enjoy seeing pops being unboxed, anything Funko, anything toy and collectible related, make sure you hit that subscribe button and you'll be keep you'll be kept updated with everything that's going on on the channel if you ring that notifications bell. To everyone who's returning guys, thank you so much for your support. You guys know how much I appreciate it on the channel and this Funko Challenge series has been a lot of fun. If you've missed any of those videos, I will leave a link to those right up here. Make sure you go and check them out after you've seen today's video. So guys, today we are tackling, tackling the Funko Rivals Challenge. So we're going to see how many iconic rivalries we can put together between our Funko Pops in the collection. And then as always, at the end of the video, we'll be sending that challenge out to a couple of other fellow YouTubers out there to issue the challenge to them and uh, get some more people participating in these challenges. So with that being said, guys, let's get right into it. Let's get this rivalry challenge off and going with one, I think, one of the most common rivalries that are out there, and that would be the sibling rivalry. So for our sibling rivalry, we have got Daryl Dixon from The Walking Dead. This is the PX Previews exclusive Daryl. Quite an old pop, um, one of the older pops in my collection. Really love this figure, love his knife. He's got his crossbow there, he's ready to go, and of course, got his angel wings on the back. So, starting off the challenge, we have our first sibling we of course have to complete the challenge with our second sibling and that is of course Merle Dixon so here we have the two Dixon brothers together and it's really a, a cool story arc for these two I love the sort of dichotomy between the characters the back and forth between them and the in, the, the sort of internal struggle that Daryl goes through as he you know figures out what's right and wrong where are you going back where I belong I can't go with you I with all the issues that he has with his brother uh, and they eventually sort of come to terms with what the relationship is so I think that's quite a cool story arc there moving on from that we have the next category which for me it's, it was a no-brainer you have to have a sporting rivalry and of all the sporting rivalries out there we have India versus Pakistan in cricket we have legendary ones you know George Foreman versus Muhammad Ali rumble in the jungle we have you know, Red Sox versus Yankees, I assume, because I'm not an American, but that sounds like it would be a big rivalry. All of those sporting rivalries aside, there they can be only one true great sporting rivalry that warrants a spot in this video, and that is Dodgeball. We have here the man himself, White Goodman, and his adversary, Peter Lafleur. Alliteration aside, I think I'll take my chances in the tournament. Yeah, you will take your chances. I know. I just said that. I know you just said that. Okay, I, I, I'm not sure where you're going with this. Well, I'm not sure where you're going with this. That's what I just said. Well, that's what I'm saying to you. All right. Touche. Hey guys, this was a really awesome movie. Absolutely loved watching Vince Vaughn and uh, Ben Stiller going at each other throughout this movie. It was so much fun. Really cool movie. Part of my, one of the f first, like adult comedies I would say that I watched as a kid we have Peter Lefeu his name uh, his number on the back there right from Average Joe's gym he's got his dodgeball he's ready to go and of course he's ready to go against White Goodman from the Global Gym Purple Cobras because they're better than you and they know it so <laughs> there's a little bit of my uh, geeky nerdiness coming out of all the quotes from the movie he's got his uh, his uh, Global Gym Purple Cobra coming up the back and he's got the symbol on the front as well. So there he is, White Goodman and Peter Lafleur from Dodgeball. Moving on swiftly, I think another great rivalry that is it's been going on for years and years and years. It was one of the one of the cartoons I used to watch a lot as a kid. Was the rivalry between Tom and Jerry. So here's Tom and Jerry, yeah, guys. Judd. Jerry, pretty chilled out, always sort of one step ahead of Tom, absolutely loved him as a character, he's got a lot of attitude, a real spunky little mouse, he's got his block of cheese, he's super chilled, he's, he's heading back to his hole to enjoy his, his uh, block of cheese, whereas of course we have scheming Tom over here, who is waving with one hand and brandishing a meat cleaver in the other, so a bit sinister uh, when you actually think about it, but uh, as a cartoon, you know, it was all in good fun, 
and uh, as long as nobody ever really got hurt. Tom got hurt a lot, but uh, as a cartoon character, the laws of cartoons applied to him, and he never sort of had any injuries to write home about that lasted too long. Moving on from there, we have a rivalry that I'm excited to see where it goes. It's been one that's been developing over the last two Marvel movies, and that is the rivalry between Star-Lord and Thor. Are you mocking me? Are you mocking me? Stop it, you just didn't do it again. He's trying to copy me. Just stop it. No now guys, this is one I'm particularly excited to see where it goes. Here we have, um, this is Thor from um, uh, Avengers Age of Ultron. It's the only Thor I have in my collection. Uh, but yeah, I think I only need one Thor, and that is, this for me is classic Thor, he's got Mjolnir there, and uh, his armor from the second Avengers movie. And then we have Star-Lord himself, I love what Chris Pratt does with this character, he's absolutely hysterical, let's laugh a minute when he's on screen. And I'm really excited to see where this rivalry goes, especially as we now go into, spoiler alert for Endgame if you haven't seen the end, in to as Guardians of the Galaxy. I think it's going to be a lot of fun to see who takes charge. My money is going to be on Thor, um, definitely taking charge. Uh, but let's see what happens, guys. Moving on from there, we have two more rivalries we're going to cover. And the next one is from one of my favorite franchises, one of my favorite fandoms, and that is Harry Potter. And there's some big rivalries in there. We have the rivalry between Harry and Malfoy. We have, of course, between Harry and Voldemort. We have between Dumbledore and Voldemort, but for this one I picked something a bit different and it's a rivalry that sort of goes back and forth between who's going to win it until Harry takes it in the end. And that is the rivalry between Harry and the Dementors. So this is Quidditch Harry. You see him now, he's got his, uh, he's caught the snitch, so he's, uh, he's, he's in a good place. Uh, I don't know if this is the snitch he caught with his mouth, that would be interesting to know. That would uh, be a Funko fact someone could figure out. Here we have uh, him in his, uh, in his Quidditch outfit. Doesn't have the number on the back, so this isn't the Harry that corresponds with the uh, Harry that got attacked by the Dementors, but he's in his Quidditch outfit, so we'll, we'll, we'll go with it anyway. And here we have the Dementor. This is one of the earliest pops I got in my collection and I got it at a stage where I wasn't really collecting pops so I threw out the box which I'm really irritated about now because as you guys know I keep all my, a lot of my pops out of the box but I do actually keep the boxes so and I display them and, and do sorts of all sorts of different things with them so a bit frustrated that I threw out the box with some of my earlier ones anyways there's the Dementor with Harry. Harry's got the snitch but I think the Dementor definitely took this round in the movie and then the last rivalry I put together, guys, is probably one of the biggest in cinematic history, and one of the best one-liners from a movie has resulted from this, and that is, of course, from the Lord of the Rings with Gandalf and the Balrog. So first off, let's have a look at the Balrog of Morgoth. This is, of course, a six-inch pop, and this is a, this was my first six-inch pop, actually. Uh, and this is just an awesome figure. There is a glow-in-the-dark version as well. It was exclusive, I think, to San Diego Comic-Con and a shared exclusive with some other places. Correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. But here he is with his fire whip, the Balrog of Morgoth. And guys, what an epic pop. The paint job on this and the detail, you can see it sort of shining through there. Um, once the camera focuses, uh, it's a bit too dark to focus on in there. But the, the detail you can see where my thumb is here on his leg is just stunning and what an excellent figure. So let's put him aside there. His head does move as well, so that's a nice little feature. And to go along with him, we have Gandalf. Uh, Gandalf, who is ready to face him, face him with glamdering his sword and his staff, ready to shout that famous line. And, uh, yeah, there is dirty up on his face, ready to go down into the lowest dungeon on the highest peak where he does eventually defeat the Balrog. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoy these rivalries. That's about it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed the picks. Comment down below and let me know what pops in your collection are in rivalries with each other. What characters do you have that are going up against each other all the time in television, movie, animation, series, comic books... Whatever it is, let me know what's in your collection and which pops are rivals to each other. As I mentioned, guys, we are, of course, going to be passing that challenge on to 
two other YouTubers in this video and for the Funko Pop Rival Challenge we are going to be challenging Lizzie P who is an incredible YouTuber over in Canada. I just discovered her channel the other day. She is nearing 1,000 subscribers guys so let's make sure we all go over there, we subscribe to her channel, check her out, she has amazing content. I will leave a link to her channel in the description down below and the next channel I will be uh, challenging is Pop Couple who are also an incredible pop channel. They do a lot of mystery box unboxings, they do all sorts of cool stuff. They're over in the United States so let's go over there, subscribe to their channel. Uh, I will leave links to their channel in the description down below as well. Pop Couple, Lizzie Pop, I hope you guys uh, take up the challenge. I hope you enjoy it and I can't wait to see what you guys put out. I'm really looking forward to seeing uh, the rivalries that exist in your collections. Then guys, as always, I'm asking you guys, hit me up with challenges down below. Let me know what challenges you want to see done on the channel in the future. Uh, we have a couple of suggestions so far. Keep them coming in and I'm going to see how many of those challenges I can complete and then pass on to other YouTubers. That's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see all of you guys next time. <laughs>